My name is Zara Vernon and I am a senior lecturer in the Department of Psychology at the University of Portsmouth. My research area comes under the programme of information elicitation. In particular, I look at detecting deception and applying a collective interviewing technique. So collective interviewing is where you interview multiple people together at the same time. Now this is different to what is typically done in investigations because normally police investigators will separate suspects as soon as possible in order to increase anxiety and reduce the pre-planning of responses. But we wanted to see whether when you interview people together new cues to deceit arise. And so what we have found is that truth tellers pose questions to each other more than liars. They also add more information to each other's account, interrupt each other and correct each other. So what we're finding is that um, when you're comparing truth tellers and liars in a collective interviewing situation is you get these interaction and communication cues that you can't get when interviewing people individually. And so now our programme of research is also adding in the model statement. So this is where we show groups an example or we play groups an example of a detailed statement unrelated to the event to show them the amount of detail that we want them to give. We are also doing a study looking by comparing two different cultures. So if you're from a collective culture compared to an individualistic culture, are there different cues to deceit that emerge when collective interviewing? For more information, please look on the Crest website.